it is of importance for all of us to remember that when the NDC was in office, Ghanaians cried on the NDC government for a reduction in electricity tariffs. This the NDC government it could not do. But when the MPP government under Nana Akufuado assumed office, without increasing taxes, electricity tariffs were reduced between 15, 17 to 30 percent. Corporate enjoyed rebates, bulk purchases or bulk users enjoy rebate. These are facts that any person who does not even like this government at all can attest to. So it's a matter of fact. Now let's deal with the macroeconomic indicators. In going specific, we know that 2017, 18, 19, this country was enjoying a steady growth. We even achieved a single digit inflation. Then of course, of course the COVID-19 struck which took us all by surprise. And not only this country, the world over. So should an NDC appointee, an NDC MP, come to you and tell you that difficult times that we are in is as a result of mismanagement? Obviously, it may be one of the numerous propaganda. Because the world over, every government is complaining in one way or the other. Because COVID affected the supply chain affected industries many companies shut down all over the world we were all held as prisoners in our homes because we needed to stay at home so that we would not escalate the spread of the covid in our country it affected production the worst of it is the current russia ukraine war iron rods that are used by our private sector for construction come from Ukraine. Obviously, the supply chain is affected. Obviously, the costs of importing would not be the same as previous. Now, cement, the paper for bagging cement come from Russia. As we speak, Companies that are involved in the manufacturing of cement have difficulties in getting the required quantity for bagging. It's affecting industry. Flour, wheat, we know, wheat comes from Ukraine. Quite a sizable percentage comes from Ukraine. Once there is this war, which is a force majeure, obviously you don't expect things to be the way they were. So for NDC to go to IMF when there was no such world crisis, to turn around and claim that they are better managers of the economy because we have to go to the IMF now for sustainability, for support, for fiscal support, for them to help us to balance our payments means can operate and his team are incompetent, is rich to say the least. It leaves so much to be desired.